Hello and welcome. In this video we will prepare the RP250 to be connected to the HCU250 which is a studio camera CCU. It's under here. So at this moment the RP250 is connected by PoE but as you can see the only thing we see is the number one because it's fully initial initialized and uh, it has no communication with the CCU which is switch off also because it makes a lot of noise once it's on but anyway we need to prepare the ROP we need to learn it the address of the CCU and also the CCU will request a login and a password so this CCU has login and password to avoid it can be hacked over the network and that we also need to teach the ROP also we need to say to the ROP please work over network because it can work over serial or network that we will all do by SD card how we do do we do first of all uh, the ROP is initialized in the previous video and now what we will do is we will save we need to with a little program we need to set all the things we want like the IP address into the SD card and the file must be on a certain location to be sure that the file is on the correct location there is a trick we will install on the SD card the configuration file of the ROP even if it's empty but then we are sure the config configuration file is on the correct place on the card and then we will overwrite that file with the correct file but then we are sure it's on the correct place okay how do we write the configuration file to the SD card by going to save mode so shift then save and then number six this display number six is the configuration file I push here I say yes and now it will ups write an empty configuration file to the SD card okay next thing we take the SD card and we install it in the PC in the PC I prepared the HRP 250 tool now the tool you can find on our website so I'm putting the SD card into the PC so we put the SD card into the PC then we have the HRP 250 configuration tool which we can you can download from our pass website okay the SD card is opening itself we don't need we open the tool we need to do two things one in the camera list say the type of camera so we only have one camera so we take number one network camera then we set the IP address of the CCU which is very close to the original proposed address uh, yes a little bit lazy and then we go to the user notification page and we set our login and password remember this is what we decided to use as login and password okay admin then small letter b a one two three four five six seven exclamation mark small b big a one two three four five six seven exclamation mark now we need to save those so we go to the SD card where are you my friend here SD card private May group so Machishita industrial electric system come 250 data so this is the empty network file or, or the initialized network file and we want to replace that so we click on it and then say save and it will ask hey do you want to replace replace this file yes so now my configuration file is saved to the SD card and we put it back in the ROP back to the ROP install the card so shift load and then number six 
configuration file. We push the button, we say yes, and it will load the configuration file. That goes very fast, and now it's rebooting. If you made some error on the SD card with the location of the uh, network file, it will give you an error here. So now, if I switch on the CCU, the switch, uh, the CCU takes some time to boot up. So I need to talk a little bit, and you can hear the noise of the fans. So the CCU, this is the picture. It's grey because it's still booting up. It needs to power up the camera, which is, yeah, now it's power up the camera. Oops. Then it will say receiving level no good because the optical is not stable yet, but then the picture will come. And then also the network will become active. And since the, the ROP now knows the address of the CCU, but in the CCU, we did not put our account yet. So there is not an existing account. So still, this unit cannot talk to the CCU. However, that is why I'm talking. The CCU became active on the network and we see one change. Here, you see the head power is red blinking. The ropes want to say to me, like, guy, okay, you, I found the CCU, but I cannot break in it because the password is wrong or not existing. So, step two, we need to set this login to the CCU. For that, I have another SD card, which I can put in the CCU. So I put it in the slot of the CCU. Now I go to the CCU, I open the menu of the CCU and go to maintenance, SD card, and I do, oh, sorry, card format. So I'm sure it is under the correct format. Okay, that is done. I will also show you where you can see the IP address of the CCU and change it. Here it is. So if you want, you can change the address of the CCU there. Okay, so I take the SD card, I put it in the PC. I'm going back to the PC screen now. We don't need this tool anymore at the moment, but on our website you can find another tool which is an account generator. I start up the account generator and this is to set up an account in the CCU. Okay, so we set as a login name admin. Then password, small b, big a, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exclamation mark, retype, retry, <laughs> password, retype, password, Japanese mistake, A, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, exclamation mark, and now export. So SD card is F in this case, and I say, okay, and it's exported. I take out the SD card. So I put back the card in the CCU. We open CCU menu again. Maintenance. Then account setup. Load. Then the account we just created. Execute. I say yes, and now account not okay. Let's see. Hapla, bingo. So the ROP came alive. We have no errors. Only pedestal and iris are blinking because they are not synchronized. Now they are. And there we go. So this is the process to configure the RP250 to be connected to the 
HCU 250 CCU which is connected to the 3900 camera so it's a little bit complicated and please follow the instructions carefully because if you make one mistake it will not work thank you for your time bye bye